Since 2013, the amazing Raspberry Pi products have been designed using the Cadence AUKAD and Allegro schematic and PCB design suites. The Raspberry Pi Zero was released as part of the Magpie Magazine issue 40, and we caught up with Mike Stimson, who kindly agreed to talk about the new product. We found some space in the backroom offices of Raspberry Pi and had a little chat about the design and thought processes behind their latest product, the Raspberry Pi Zero. Mike, thank you ever so much for spending some time. You're welcome. How long have you worked for Raspberry? Um, just over a year now. I started at the sort of 3rd of January last year. Production. Cool. Okay. So you've worked fully on this, this Pi Zero. And uh, how long was the project from start to finish? Um, start to finish, as far as I'm concerned, was probably late spring, early summer. Um, okay. The initial idea stage was probably about this time last year. So, with your, your first time driving the Cadence PCB tools, how, how did it feel? No, well, it doesn't take long to get used to it. Once you do, it's, it's really easy. Yeah, certainly the uh, all, all the constraint manager things. Um, yeah. yeah, it's all learned to love it, and yeah, it just takes care of things, so you don't have to think about it. That's right. Yeah, and with the color coding system, you can you can see at a glance where your where your problem spots. Are. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay, so we've got HDMI. We've got the, the Broadcom 2835 chip. Um, tell me a little bit about the routing and how you think about coming out of uh, out of the main mobile chip. Um, the twenty eight thirty five in here is the same one that's been used on the first generation Raspberry Pi. So it's on the Model A Plus and Model B Plus. Um, so this is essentially a, a Model A, just greatly reduced in size. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been defeatured, so the camera and display connectors have been taken off. Okay. Um, a few LEDs have been removed, that kind of thing. Okay. So the, ba the starting point was actually a Model A, and so the breakout for that was pretty much done. So anything directly beneath the chip on uh, the top layer and the bias was pretty much already done. So from then on, it was just a case of routing outwards from there. And did you reuse all that routing, or...? Um, just, just, just the basic breakout yeah. uh, okay. underneath the thing. So it, it, it's all kind of moved around, but the, the, the power all used to be in the bottom corner, uh -huh. bottom left-hand corner, and the SD card used to be on the underside, because the other thing you notice with this, it's a single side population yeah. to get the manufacturing costs down. Okay. So there wasn't a whole lot of layout to reuse on this, but right. uh, being able to essentially cut and paste the uh, the original chip breakout from the Model B, uh, sorry, the Model A, uh, saved a lot of time. Well done. Now, the, the, one of the recent uh, issue 40, the Christmas 2015 release of the Magpie, actually comes with a Pi Zero attached to it. You can't get any more of these, can you? This is, this no, no, done. No, they uh, <laughs> sold out within probably hours uh, <laughs> in the shops. Uh, yeah, it, it was crazy. Right. So that this this could be that this is the only one in at, at Raspberry Pi. I believe that's the only one in the office. Yeah. <laughs> that's when you when you start a project, what are you thinking of, and where where does the idea come from? So if we talked about the zero, for example, who came up with the idea? Does it come from Eben, or does it come from the community, or James? I would imagine it's a bit of both. Okay. Um, obviously, it's come from Eben and James. They um, tell me what to do. Uh, and so where do you start? You start with the schematics, um, or is there a form factor that you needed to, to fit first? It depends on what it is. Um, with the, the Zero, it was the schematics were pretty much set because we already know what a Raspberry Pi is, and it has to stay backwards compatible. Right. So the schematic is largely done. So with the Zero, the, the first step was to go through the schematic with a big red pen and say, we get rid of that, don't get that, don't get that. I'm not even sure why that was there in the first place. And, uh, and then put that into the layout, move around the component, see how big you can make it, draw it, uh, take a look at it, and think, yeah, there's a bit of empty space there, make it smaller. Until, uh, yeah, there was about two or three revisions, getting increasingly small. So, yeah, the, the width of the thing is, is, is set because of the, um, 
the 40 pin GPIO right okay. and the mounting holes. So it's got to be at least. So that's identical to the Raspberry Pi, the other Raspberry right. Pis, to make it uh, compatible. Cool. So the the height of the board was the thing we could play with. So it started off like that big, mm -hmm. and then that big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so then, so that would then be worked out in the in the layout stage where you're. Yeah, it was an iterative layout, layout process. So okay. yeah, I essentially laid it out a couple of times. Um, and yes, we, we just looked at it. And said, well, there's, there's a bit of empty space there, so yeah. we'll shuffle the connectors around a bit so we can utilise the empty space, yeah. and we can uh, bring the height of the board down to it. And how long did you spend doing the layout side of things? How long did that, that process take of those different iterations? Uh, probably took between one two months. Okay. I think end to end, all the time. And then how long does it take to get the boards populated, manufactured and, and arrived? Uh, for this one we used a rapid prototyping house in the UK, um, who took a few weeks to, uh, wow. to make it for us, the, the initial prototypes. And uh, yeah, they came all back lovely and working. Goodness me. Well, it's fantastic. I mean, I, I I I know you're working on new stuff, but I can't imagine what you can what you can do to top these sort of things. Um, I mean, it's really really superb. The company, uh, the charity is going from strength to strength, and um, we just want to say thank you very much for using Cadence, and thank you for spending some time to talk to us about your products. And we know you're really really busy, so we're going to let you get back. No problem. And, uh, <laughs> thanks ever so much. Yeah, thanks, guys. I've been here with Mike at Raspberry Pi. We'll see you soon.